Hi there, Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your August 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading. Now, this is actually my second recording since the first record has been cut off for some reason. I don't know why, so I just decided to redo the reading overall. But surprisingly enough, there are still a lot of repeating cards, so I will probably still say the things that I said in the previous video, which I'm not gonna upload anymore. But um, yeah, um, again, this month I'm actually using this Tarot of Sexual Magic by Laura Twan. It's a very sexual and erotic kind of a deck so it may be something that you're gonna find pleasing or it could be something that you w won't like at all and if that is the case then I do apologize for that but I do like this deck not because of the drawings or the graphics or anything like that but um, it's actually because the theme of the deck is actually for love and relationships focus so with Lord one each and every card has a story has an influence factor and has an interpretation that is actually the same for the writer weight but it's tailored for love and relationships so it's going to be interesting to implement that into our reading of course we're still going to be using our own intuition as we go along for this so just you know a heads up and a disclaimer also for those tarot lovers who might be watching this video so um yeah i did forget my astro dice so let me just quick uh, um do a quick um roll out just to give us the major influences that could be affecting for pisces in terms of their love life and relationship for the month of august 2020 okay so we have pisces we have here the number five which is the fifth house and yeah this one is rahu again so let's put this aside earlier i got neptune so i i kind of feel that even though we do a recast we do another reading some of the messages are going to be always the same <laughs> that's just what i found out but anyways let's dive into the reading okay pisces the first card that you have right now is the empress card it, it's actually a very wonderful deck and um this is the card of inviting and intention so this is an energy wherein you would want to initiate something there's something that you want to welcome in your life and there could be also something that you would want to manifest also it is being crossed over by the four of cups over here and the four of cups has a lot to do with um i would say habits 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 is actually the keyword that lord one gave this you know if there is something repetitive that has been happening in your life personally or in your relationships you could be at a point wherein you would want to try to fix this you, maybe you would want to have a talk you maybe you want to talk with your partner that kind of thing and maybe bring about something that is enjoyable once again because it has been stagnating whatever it is that you guys are encountering all of this time and um yeah it could be a struggle on its own because this is the four of cups so it's like you want something in your life but at the same time you don't know how to get there because the four of cups can actually give us a sense of loss especially when you are you know you had the habit of doing one thing over and over again it's hard for you to to move away from that kind of field so even if you want something like we can see over here we do you in your foundation card we have the world card and the world card is actually the card of continuity with um, lord twan so this is about you know um exploration all at the same time this is about um 
a bond and a relationship but as you guys can see the man and the woman is actually far from each other even though they are in the same circle that kind of thing so it gives me a feeling we're in there could be distance in the air all at the same time but it, but you do want to connect you know you want to savor the moment savor the relationship and have some form of happy time and you know they are feeding each other which is very very sweet so there is an energy here we're in there is something that you really really want and that's good and satisfying but maybe that is not currently present in your relationship now in the recent past we do have here the nine of wands and the nine of wands is actually a situation we're in it is caressing and it is a situation where in you know when there is a problem you would want to try and fix them it could be a situation where in there are issues before where in you you want to try to fix it but you're not able to do so but you should <laughs> but maybe you you weren't able to take action in the past i feel is what's showing up over here because um i don't know maybe things just did not work out um in the situation in our near future though we do have the seven of wands yeah this is the seven of wands and this is actually the card of whispers and it's actually that moment we're in you need to there is a need to dissolve any doubts and any suspicions that might be going on into the surface of a relationship so there is effort that needs to happen here you know when when you when there is doubts when there is suspicion you guys need to talk you guys need to 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 understand each other to talk to each other and to make things clear what really happened what really is going on if not there's going to be just one problem to another and you know there could be a multiple misunderstanding that can pile up which can cause problems so i feel that here being shown up in the near future there could be a situation wherein you would want to try to connect with someone making the effort to to talk to someone making the effort to change some form of dynamics in the relationship now another card that we have over here is the ten of swords and this is actually pretty funny because this is actually the first card of the uh the first card in the previous reading you know the reading that i was not able to upload um that i mentioned earlier this is the first card for pisces so um it's quite contradictory that we have here um the empress card and the ten of swords all at the same time so at the, at the end of the day though the, the ten of swords even with lord twan has a negative connotation though not as negative with um the usual rider weight uh, the ten of swords still is talking about pain it's talking about tears so so you might be wanting to face something that you are very disappointed about this is probably the message that is being come across into this reading because right now there is something you know when you are when you are tearful you when you're crying there's something that is not within your expectation there's something that you are disappointed in and with this um this is the card of the being bitter you know this is the card of biting with lord Juan. this is the knave of uh swords yeah i keep forgetting this uh the page of swords and the page of swords um even with their rider weight has a lot to do with mistrust you know being cautious and all of that and um with that with the other person's point of view i kind of feel that you could be in a situation wherein maybe there is no contact at all between you and that person and maybe you're having your own issues and the other person is also having their own issues and you are disappointed and they are also you know i kind of feel that the two of you are not very much willing to 
take the action to improve the situation. And I'm not blaming any one of you. Um, it's not your fault. It's not their fault all at the same time. I just kind of feel that something very personal could be happening here. That maybe something personal has been happening in your life and something personal is happening in their life all at the same time. I kind of feel that there is some form of faith as well in play over here wherein, you know, um, they're not able to take action. You are not able to take action and their reasoning might not be very valid to you but their reasoning is something understandable if we see it in their point of view it has that form of energy the page of swords is a, a very doubting card you know it's it's feeling bitter so maybe you may have done something to them in the past that that made them act in a way that can be hurtful to you and maybe you're still hurt with them you know maybe they they have done something to to cause you some form of disappointment and it could be that you know you the two of you have hurt each other let's just put it that way to make it easier for me to explain the two of you has have hurt each other one way or another intentional or not intentional you know the two of you have your own bitterness into the relationship but all at the same time um there is a drive here of wanting to connect and wanting to to bond you know uh, I kind of feel that something in this situation is wanting the two of you to reconnect and wanting to start things all over again. We do have here the two of wands and the two of wands with Lord Twan is nearness and sharing, you know, sharing something, connecting with someone and it's the feeling of being closer again. So if there has been some form of distance in your relationship, or if you are in a situation wherein there has been you know physical distance or you know you guys have not been in contact for quite so long there could be an energy here of wanting to resolve things wanting to make an effort and wanting to 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 connect again to talk to each other again to to, to make yourself closer with that person again and the overall card of the reading we do have here the justice card and justice card is you know all about harmony all about balance and all of that and that is just still the same with Laura Twan it's still talking about balance so I kind of feel that it is a very also a very harmonious peaceful card all at the same time it has a very Libra energy also but I kind of feel that, you know, you need to do something here. You need to, to make something right, I feel. Um, whatever it is that you need to do, you need to, you need to take action because you feel that it is the right time. It's t the time to make things right. It's time to sort something out, especially if there is something that has not been doing so well recently. Of course, this can be manifesting in relationships and in your personal life, and it could be in your career. I mean, who knows? Uh, but for, of course, this is essentially made for love reading. So I kind of feel that there could be a relationship that is very much questionable right now or, you know, it's just something that's in your mind that you need to to put an end point into things to i guess i guess it's to to finally face it you know facing adversity i kind of feel is one of the biggest um um keyword for a lot of pisces out there and yeah it and this is also for the idea because you want you want to make to make yourself happy again you want to please your partner you want to please them you want to make them happy you miss those days you miss those times and right now all you want is to to be with that person to bond with that person and to make the effort to to please them and all at the same time you kind of feel that that will make you happier as well 
of course you're not going to feel this happy giddy energy because you do have the ten of swords as your card of the reading as well so for the most part you are going to feel disappointed and dejected but the key word here is that you are going to make the necessary action because you feel this way you know that is not going to be the end point it doesn't mean that this it's negative or anything like that but because you feel depressed because you feel sad you are going to take action to clear everything out and maybe to restore quite a few things that has gone astray in the situation and the in the relationship now we do also have here the fifth house being activated by the si by the north node and in the sign of pisces and you know this is a very a very emotional connection i would say i would say and the fifth house has a lot to do with joy has a lot to do with sweethearts you know our sweethearts uh, our lovers what makes us happy what is something what will fill us with a lot of joy so there's a lot of focus here about your true heart's desire i feel also pisces is being ruled by neptune and earlier my astro dies is actually on neptune in the 11th house so it could be someone that you had some form of association in the past most likely or probably um that is the connection right here or it could be a situation wherein you know this is like someone you had some form of love at first sight you know a very karmic relationship or you know a relationship that has some form of importance to you something that really really feels good feels very romantic it's something that you cannot let go of i feel so um yeah again this is a relationship that is not doing well and a relationship that they need to put on the right track this can also be a situation wherein something is not okay in your situation in your personal life and you need to put them back on the green light to put them back to where they supposed to be it could be a situation wherein you know you might be feeling sluggish and you feel that you know it's time for you to to live to live the real world real life once again you know just because everything is in pause right now would mean that you need to stop living stop working stop loving or stop talking you know not because everyone is in isolation right now would mean that you you shouldn't do anything in fact i kind of feel that you might be triggered to make an effort to do something especially at this time especially from the mid month to the end of august i kind of feel that that is going to be happening a lot more strongly you know so um yeah there is something that you need to put on the right track so good luck with that pisces um thank you guys for watching and joining in with me i do hope that you get some form of insight into this um there could be some frustrations in the air but i believe that you will be able to overcome that as you go along and yeah this is going to be a major trigger point for a lot of you guys so good luck um, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and I shall see you guys again next month.